Cotline Media. Cotline Media. Atena. Cotline Media. Cotline Media. Yeah. Right. Cotline Media. Hard scare cuts. Yo, them never expect this in a I swear, them never expect this. Yes, Could you do both music and college? Well, meet GRXK, a final year student at UTEC, and he is passionate about his music. Yo, Romy. Yeah, yeah man, from your voice, you know, GRXK, you now we are the Cutline Media, same time. RXK is. I've been doing music professionally for just one year. Is it just one year we just start? So, relatively young in the music thing, same way, is it? So, do you believe you are ready for this industry? Well, quite frankly, it is a big industry, but I believe that I am capable and I am ready for it, indeed. So, why should people take you seriously? What in the music industry will you be doing differently? When you look in the music industry, you have see, you're seeing space that is something is missing in the industry. And I think that I fit the characteristic and I have the charisma to be the one in the music industry. I'm seeing where like people are not putting academics to the music. So I believe I am capable of that based on the fact that I'm studying as well. So use intelligence and go into the music, switch up the game, right? The worst in ten, me get my confidence for grow. Man have to stay persistent. Them have the worst in ten, me find my consistency now. Well, I'm a final year student studying journalism. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> well, there is a balance in it based on the fact that when I'm searching for information for my journalism, I can apply it to my music. So, journalism and music coming together for me, but it's going to be quite tricky because. Me as an artist should be getting interviewed and I will be interviewing person. So there's contrast, but it's just something that I love and I believe that I want to do with that. My style different, you know, as we say, we kill him with intelligence, you know. So we just stay humble, try to put more of the singing thing to it. So we're not just hardcore dancer because to me that's not really nice. You have to put look sweetness night with ladies them love. So I just my style and I go for the ladies and use my humbleness and go for them. All right, before the video got any further, just click on the little red button down so, and subscribe. My best friend, I got you this brother. Well, nothing controversial. I just stick to what things that I've experienced in the past and things that I've been through already. So, I have a song named Level Up. Everybody want to level up. So, that's that song. I have a song named Persistence where I teach you some for us. Stay focused despite everything happening. And indeed, we have trust issues for the ladies them because you know the ladies them love pressure them on them so yeah you have trust issues out for them already so we notice that you and the next artist from UTEC kind of always on the stage always parring describe that friendship there between you and Sub-Zero it's quite tricky because um, Sub-Zero was the one who actually told me to do music Sub-Zero has been doing music professionally for years and I was there singing, 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 and he came to me and said, Jay, you know, I believe if we do it professionally, I mean, I say, oh, all right. And then he sent me the rhythm. It wasn't a producer who sent me the first rhythm. It was Sub-Zero who sent me the rhythm and said, I hear you upon the rhythm. And then there and then I wrote Isaiah. And then ever since it has been going, so people say me and Sub-Zero a package. So normally if you see me and prefer, I say Sub-Zero. So I also, if people say, well, I do, I just sub out, yeah. you know. Writing for me is quite different. Normally, you'd have somebody write a song and then put it on the rhythm. Me you now, I hear the rhythm I play and then I just mumble some things. And then after that, when I listen it over, I actually put actual, word, actual words to it. So, writing for me is quite different, but it's not hard. So, it's just something that I enjoy. I enjoy writing too as well. Since you start your musical career, what would you say is your biggest achievement? Well, I have to stay grounded as it relates to success, not necessarily much, but just doing music for me is a success because it has been a lifelong dream for me. So now I'm pursuing it, it's just something good for me. And the highlight of my career was this summer, I uh, headlined a show with Dexter Dapp in New York, so it was just me and Dexter Dapp on the show. And like, I was nervous at first, but when I run out upon them Spanish people, they were like, so it was just an excellent feeling for me, you know? Overseas, as you say, yes, that was just remarkable for me because those are the things that I dreamt of when I was growing up. So now seeing them being played out in reality is just such a blessing for me. 
Yeah, I'm some one that will try to get the best of me Some more call now, just to find the recipe Look at them, I'll see a juke This little dumb green tube I'll put it to work, see them, I'll serve what's in here too Them thief, I'll start to tell them go What's the support like from your family? Well, realistically speaking My family is um, is in the Adventist church. I was raised in the Adventist church and stuff. My mother is a Christian and my auntie is a Christian and my uncle is a Christian. But as it relates to me and my success, they believe that anything I do, they are going to be supportive of me. So, whereas they won't support me singing a song with Boss Gunner, but they are going to be supportive of me and I won't be singing songs that won't, won't depict the type of character my family pursue. So, they support me in everything that I do. So you really? don't feel like RXC, you're going to get, you have to get a time in your career where people are going to draw you out and feel like you want to clash. No. That's part of the dance hall. No? Yeah, clashing oh. is a part of dance mm -hmm. hall, but it is simple to stay in your lane. I'm not going to make a man sing a diss track and draw me out. I know what I want from the music. They should know what they want from the music. A lot of persons are going to try sing song off for me, say some subliminal things in them song, but it's just for me to stay focused and keep my head in. On the right path. I know what I want, so no man can draw me out. <laughs> As it relates to me and what's in the pipeline for me, I just want to. I just dropped a new single, Persistence, with a music video, and I want to do some more shows and like some more new songs have quite a few rhythms and stuff of like six production you have leo got beats you have tough chin records you have a lot of persons sending me instrumentals and stuff so it's just for me to deliver right now but i have a lot of songs writing and stuff so the work is always being put in place so i just talk about producers and and and, and, and thing. You, have, you have a team on you well, you hear the name JRXK. Mm -hmm. So you know, say, oh, you can't have artists and have a team. Yeah, I have my team. You have RXK events and who cater for like entertainment, other stuff. But as a face of it, I just have to step out and lead my team. So you have Roger RXK, Romy RXK, Mikey RXK there, and enough RXK members there. So, what RXK mean? Because I kind of wonder whether that's something they mean from a Well, RXK mean renowned kings. And queens, we don't have any female a part of the organization right now, but it's just an uh, entity well, that caters for entertainment and stuff. I love my team, you know that. Send him start short progress, stay focused, be down, cause I better than man I say. Hey man, you say RXK, so RXK that are my team. So as the artist and as the face of RXK, I have a lead out, I love my team. RXK events, Mikey, Darren, Roger. Ling, Romy, so do you, man, I strictly discipline, though. Yeah, man. I do a little survey, test, we sang the art song, them say. You have level up and you have trust issues. We have other big songs, you know, but them two, they are the fans' favorite. But level up now, it was just. It was just the end of the vibe when I write that song there. She said, you're more up on a new level. So I stay so boom, put pen to paper. Me and Romy did it, per se. I like me, I play the rhythm, and I say, roll out clean. You know, my desert clocks are roaming as you. That body in a dog. Leona. Trust issues now. Trust issues now. There's a different story. I don't know. Like, me and Liliana energy just connect. So, as it relates to my musical inspiration, my peers are my inspiration. As you say, you have man like Sub Zero, you have man like. Perilo, Chevron Smith and them money. Them money I listen and say yo inspiration for me cause them money are my peers and them they own me but as it relates to like people with big in the game me just like Maxi Priest, Dennis Brown and Cartel, is me? And as it relates to young youth now, me I say yo, I rate artists every artist who I try per se, I rate them intense, see them do them things so I have to respect them artists at the same time but my peers are my inspiration, sub zero and them money. You know how to pray for this year, yeah. vehicle a stereo, yeah. they just left him teens and him by then I care by my dogs and my drink of the rum, not for sure. Six to K one night would So my music is something different completely. Sweet, can give them a little 
Hard quick, yeah, switch it up. So we have the talent though. Cause we roll out clean. In our desert clocks, I go chin no look on the brand of a shots, mom. So that's JRXK in a nutshell. And of course, he's leveling up.